guys, it's Michelle and I am from michellejdesigns.com. I hope you will stop over to the blog sometime and see me and visit me over there. But if you like the YouTube, I appreciate you watching and if you're new to my channel, then thank you so much for joining me. And if you've been here before, then thanks so much for tuning in again. And please hit the subscribe button if you like this video, I would love that. So we are working on Christmas decor and today we are going to make some uh, votive or tea light candle holders for your Christmas decor. These are so cute. I love the way they turned out and they're so easy. You won't even believe and it will take you not very long except for you have to wait for the paint to dry and that's the only thing that takes any time at all on these uh, projects. So inside in the video you'll see that I use these black tea lights but uh, you can buy the white ones which I think would be cuter I just had these laying around my house um, but the white ones inside I think would be cuter uh, for Christmas as opposed to these were for Halloween so I hope you guys like this video let's get started and I'll show you just how I made these So this is what I did with the frosted glass. Um, I did use that frosted glass paint and this is what they look like after I frosted the glass. They're so pretty. And this is the paint I used. It is from Rust-Oleum and you can get that at any hardware store, Menards, Home Depot, stuff like that. And this is the fabric I got at Walmart. So this whole thing was $7.99 and you get all sorts of um, fabric pieces. We're going to use this top piece. We're only going to use a little bit of it. So um, there will be a lot left over for other projects. And it's a pretty big piece. They're back quarters. So I'm just going to snip a little bit down here and I want to try to tear this because I wanted it to have kind of a rustic look but as I got into the fabric and it, it's not even so it was tearing okay at first but then I had to cut a little bit and I thought I could tear some more but it's just not working. So I'm just going to trim it even and then I'm going to just cut off the part that I had for the, with the ravelly edges and now I'm going to cut a nice new piece for this project. So I'm just cutting it about a half an inch wide and I just cut a strip for each um, each jar, each tea light candle. So I'm just going to wrap this around. You guys, this is so easy. This is the easiest project. I don't even really know that I can call it a DIY. But I'm going to tie half my knot and then I went outside and got some sticks and I'm just going to, um, I think, break this a little shorter. And then I'm going to add both of them and tie the rest of the knot. And I'm just trying to arrange the fabric so that not so much of the white um, backside of it is showing and more of the plaid is showing. And then I'm just trimming the edges to, um, trimming the ends to the length that I want. And there you have it. I added some tea lights and as I said in the intro these tea lights aren't ideal. I did go get some white ones to put in there at the Dollar Tree and they're really cute. I can't wait to put these out for Christmas and they're so easy and fast anybody can make these. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Have a good day.